Okay boys, so you want to get some more frames in Modern Warfare 2. Here is an actual useful guide on how to get some frames. So, uh, as you can see, if we jump straight into the Cap Frame X graph, um, it's pretty stable. There are some small peaks to 30, but 30 millisecond jumps, very, very stable throughout the entire game. This was a, a full match of hard point on the F1 map. Uh, you can see that when sat in the menu, 558 frames. Um, 95th percentiles are 274, the average FPS is 220, so if you're like me, you're playing on a 165 hertz monitor, you're good to go. Um, we are pretty solid, we had one dip to 70, um, point, uh, sort of the average 1% lows of 165, so it's very, very smooth. Um, how we actually achieved this is quite simple. Uh, so, what you want to do is, first of all, download a program. I know you're going to go, oh, download a program. Just listen to me for a second, if you don't mind. <laughs> DDU, which is a driver removal, basically, program. Run DDU. Now, when you open up DDU, this is going to uninstall your drivers, right? So, when we click this, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you've never used this before, these are just some old versions I've got saved. Um, you just want to select your GPU. Uh, Nvidia, and you want to click clean and restart, <clears throat> and this is this will actually totally get rid of all of the crap from all of the times you've been tweaking, and it will do a proper clean install. This is how you should install every single driver. I know it's a pain, but this is actually the very best way to do it. So before you hit that button, and before you restart, what you want to do um, is you want to go to your network properties and disable, if you've got Wi-Fi, just disable your Wi-Fi, and unplug your ethernet cable the reason for this is when the computer restarts these days windows has like a built-in kind of management software that allows you to uh, get up and running and it will download some basic drivers um, to stop it doing that you can just have no internet and then you can just go to the file um, that you've downloaded your driver and you can install the correct one so to do that obviously uh, before we begin you'd go to uh, nvidia the version we are using uh nvidia driver past downloads uh if you go over here look for your correct card so i'm on a 3080 <clears throat> and we are using um 522.25 now there has been another update on november the 10th which is a whql driver you can give that a go. Um, this has given some people some more frame rate, but if you just want to be super steady, um, 522.25 seems to be a pretty solid one. So download that, and then once you've cleaned your drivers, reinstalled, um, and restarted, should I say, you'll load up, find out where it's downloaded, and you'll install this. Now, once you've installed that, um, you're going to go to your NVIDIA control panel, only thing you need to know is maximum performance on the power management mode. And if you want, you can turn the filter in um, quality to performance. It's a few frames and no visual difference. And then you're good to go. So once you're in Call of Duty, um, you'll see a few things here that we've got downloaded. Um, this is from a guy with an optimization guide. First thing you're going to see is something called NVIDIA Profile Inspector load this up and you're going to click this little show unknown uh profiles once you've clicked this you'll be able to see some unknown profiles down here and what you will be able to do is you'll you will be able to go ahead and you'll be able to follow these instructions which are included in the folder so <clears throat> i know it sounds complicated but it's not and um, just look for these so F O O B A. So you would go F O O B A, which is here, and you would go ahead and you would set this to uh, the following the battlefield one, and then the next one you would set to the battlefield one. And then there is one more, which I believe is the one here, which is the 23 profiles F F, which is right here. And you can go down here and again set that to so, and then you can hit the apply changes once you've applied the changes you're good to go you can go into the game 
Now, the last thing you need to do, and I know this sounds like a lot, but trust me, it actually has finally sorted my frame problems. It's great now. <clears throat> when you go into the options, um, if you're wondering where this is, um, this is stored in Documents, uh, and then it will be in Call of Duty Players, and you will see it here. So you can just go ahead <clears throat> and paste that config file into here. Now... If you go into the actual options um, of the file, <clears throat> so the file you're looking for uh, is uh, this one, and you edit it with the notepad, the only really thing you want to look at editing um, for now is your work account. Your work account is basically your cause, and it's just down here at the bottom. And <clears throat> I've personally found that setting it to all my cores works the best. Um, I've also tried it with 12, um, and also it, it just entirely depends. There's no right or wrong. If, if in doubt, leave it on default, but what you basically do is load this up, change the number from how many cores you've got, um, and press the save button. And then this will live update, and you run your benchmark. As you run your benchmark, um, get a rough idea of your, your FPS. When you go into <clears throat> the settings, because you now know what your FPS is, uh, you can have a look. So, yes, ideally, full screen exclusive will give you slightly more frames. I love to tab out, so I will lose some frames to be have a nice tabbing out. If you're on a very, very low-end system, you can try dynamic resolution, and you can lower the frame rate target. So crank it all the way up, and then... If that's okay, lower it a little bit. If that's okay, lower it a little bit. And um, for me, I leave that off. Now, what this will do um, is <laughs> basically there'll be a gamma. I've set mine to sRGB. Um, I think originally it was on 2.4. That, that, that's just visually. When you go to quality, this is where your settings are. So here are the things to note in your settings. Uh, there are some things that are grayed out. Now, this is because the config file is setting them lower than is actually available. So you can see here, small elements such as rocks, decals, and ground foliage, that's lower than low now. Um, so these all will be put in there. Now, uh, you can put, honestly, a tiny, tiny bit of film grain, because if you don't put a tiny bit of film grain on, can it can kind of mess with the shadows, but that's by the by. The main thing you want to be messing with um, is the following. Your render resolution, I'm on a 1440p monitor. Now, when I set this to 1080p, to my eyes, because of how modern graphics cards are and monitors with some scaling, this looks exactly the same as 1440p. So for me, I can get extra frames by lowering my resolution of the rendering. When you initially open the config, it's going to be set to like 33%. Obviously, that's going to look like hot dog shit and give you a load of amazing frames. But you want to crank this up to a point where you're finding it nice visually, but you're still getting the frame rate. Obviously, if you turn everything to the lowest of the low, you're going to get good frames, but that's not the point, is it? Because you actually want to be able to see the game at least somewhat. So... What I've gone ahead and done is I've selected Fidelity Cas. This basically gives a nice sharp image, and I've set it to 70. Um, this basically, for want of a better word, is kind of like the image scaling in the DLSS, but it's more you do it manually. So you set your render resolution, and then you apply a bit of sharpening, and I think this is the best way, personally, um, for me. Now... We have the only other options I've tweaked are I've put my textures up to the highest they go and I've put my filtering up to the highest they go. You can put these on low if you want more frames, but I, I, I do like visuals and I don't want the game to look completely trash. You know how some um, games just look completely trash and you get high frame rate? Yeah, whatever. Now, you can turn on on-demand textures if you want. I have, just to get a little bit more high-quality textures. Um, and that's kind of your lot um, as far as it goes. Everything else you can just leave because the config does it automatically for you. 
again, you can tweak this. You don't have to play with the absolute, basically, hot dog water, bloody graphics to get good frames. So if I go into the benchmark now, right? By the way, I'm recording um, using OBS, which is set to be uh, on X264 slow. If that means anything to you, you'll know that my frame rate will be a fair bit lower because I am doing this, but I wanted to do it live just to show you. And when you play the game, I think this is a really nice setup. The difference, when I had all my graphics sort of turned up to look quite nice, I was probably getting 70 to 100 frames. When I loaded up the config and I had this um, sort of tuned without streaming, I would get about 300 frames. I've got the screenshot. Now, what you can see here is this is me streaming at 1080p in the lowest um, X264 quality possible, right? So this is me stressing my PC out as much as I possibly can do, right? If I'm not streaming, I will be getting a solid, like we saw before, 220 FPS. But I think, um, I just tabbed out there, so I'll tank that. But I think the uh, the performance I'm getting while streaming is very, very solid. So just to point out, um, the game doesn't look shit, right? It doesn't look shit, and I'm averaging 150 FPS, right? Um, when I test this and I'm not streaming, because bear in mind, I'm streaming at 1080p, 60 FPS, the low X264 preset, which absolutely kills your frame rate. If I'm not streaming, I can get about 300 FPS and I'll chill at about um, sort of two, two odd uh, 50. So obviously streaming whilst I'm talking to you right now is killing the FPS, but even so, um, having an average of 150 FPS with nice settings while streaming feels lovely. Um, hopefully this helps you out with the guide um, to get you some FPS. Obviously you can turn things down, you can even turn things up, um, but I think this has really improved my frame rate and it's much easier to track people and play when it's super smooth. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything else uh, I've le left out. Um, yeah, just check out the links in the description, I guess, where to download the shit. Um, cheers.